So I've been on Facebook today checking shit out. Now I'm laying down, taking a little power nap, you know, whatever. And uh, I'm seeing all the electoral shit, you know, about Trump and Sanders and Clinton and Cruz and what the fuck ever. It's amazing to me how this the same fucking thing happens every four years. And I am dumbfounded that people cannot figure this shit out. Every four years, people pick one person they want to support. For example, Donald Trump. People that support Donald Trump, they say the same shit that people said about Mitt fucking Romney. People said it about Obama. They said it about Clinton, Gore, Bush. All of them, man. He's going to change America. He's going to make it better. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Let me tell you a secret, folks. <laughs> I've been alive for 37 years. I haven't seen one fucking thing change. <laughs> The presidents still get up there and lie about shit. They still don't fix any fucking thing. And they're going to lie to you to get your fucking votes. But people are still just erratic about it, man. They're so radical about it. Like, I've lost friends during election years for just cracking jokes about this shit. Like the last election with Mitt Romney versus Obama. I was like, you really think Romney's got a shot? Dude, I know people in Massachusetts. That motherfucker was getting booted up there. You... That, they, the Republicans knew they were going to lose to Obama in a re-election. They knew they were going to lose the first election. So they should not They should be embarrassed for the representatives they had. McCain's not bad, but Sarah Palin, really? That's, that's, that's what you're going with? Sarah fucking Palin? For fuck's sake. And then Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. And Paul Ryan, I mean, this is like, let's take this guy out of fucking grass fields in Wisconsin and throw him up in front of the whole goddamn country. Just the dumbest shit. that You don't throw your A-teamers up when you know you're going to get your ass kicked. All right? When you know you're going to get the shit beat out of you, you save your A-teamers for another time. Unfortunately for the Republican Party, <laughs> Donald Trump is part of their fucking A-team right now. But it's just it's just funny how in every electoral year, you know, every election year, every four years, the same shit happens. People get into arguments, debates, I mean, fist fights. You got people fighting at the rallies and shit. They're fighting over this dude like they know him on a personal level. All right? They're fighting more over Donald Trump than I fight over my girlfriend. All right? Dudes try to fuck her all the time. I ain't fighting over shit. I'm sorry. Too old, too fat, too tired. But it blows my mind that people go this fucking crazy over it. And then six months after the election, everything's right back to where it was. <laughs> and people will still be blaming Obama no matter what the fuck happens. And I think that's goddamn hilarious to be honest with you. Uh, it's just an election, people. It's going to happen every four years. You don't really have a, a, a choice. You don't have to vote, you know, but the more you vote, the more you're contributing to the idiocracy of America. So, yeah, the dumbing down and the de-evolution of the fucking human race is happening before our eyes, and the only people that see it are the people that are getting voted for. <laughs> Maybe I should try running for office just because I feel like I'm smarter than the rest. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You can be more intelligent than the rest of the goddamn population. It doesn't make a fucking difference unless you're wealthy and you're the buddies with the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. That ain't happening. You ain't happening. You just got your lifespan. Enjoy it. Have some fun. Give half your money away to the insurance companies so they can throw it into the fucking uh, corporate bullshit. All the corporate shit throws it into the government. And we still get fucked in the ass left and right. And yet you people are fighting and arguing over the ones that fuck you every four years. And uh, every year in between. And you're fighting over this shit. Oh my god, it's amazing. People, wake the fuck up. We're born into servitude. We're all goddamn slaves here in the United States of America. We're just rewarded really well because we're highly evolved as far as technology. And yeah, we're in a ton of debt, but they just make more money. <laughs> like, think about it. Wouldn't that be cool if you could just say, oh, fuck, we're in debt. We can't write a check. You know what? We're just going to print some more money. <laughs> Let's just do that and just keep this thing going because we can't really go into debt because we can just print more money. So they don't really ever go into debt. We do. We go into debt to them, and these are the motherfuckers that can print more money for themselves. Unfucking real. Every four years, fighting over dumbasses that have too much money and not enough goddamn intelligence. Uh, later.